this. Hello viewers, it's Peter Patcher. We are building a cruising sailboat um, and, and the whole point of these video blogs is to is to record that build to show what it's really like you know, to, to spend a period of three years or so working as much as you can to build a 32 foot boat or a reasonable size sailboat out of plywood. So that's what we're doing and um, recording that as it goes along and uh, still in the sort of winter phase I guess weather's still a bit intermittent had some snow this week, also some lovely sunshine, but the temperatures are fairly chilly. So weather's a bit up and down. Forecast for next week is delightful. We'll see what comes. So winter phase, as I say, which means mainly we've been working, as you know, probably for, for several couple of months now on the interior, uh, trying to get the interior as done, done as much as possible. And here we are. And in a way, we're in a, in a, a, a strange phase of the build because it's, at times it's rather hard to, to show you what's going on. I can sort of show you what I've done and what's completed this week. So if you walk this way, Hazel, or walk swimming around here, in here, you'll see that the, the heads are now completely glossed out. Um, all through, including the cupboards under the worktop. And at one stage, I was talking about painting these grey. And in fact, I bought some grey paint and painted that, the interior of that shelf there, grey. And I hated it. <laughs> it looked really terrible. Um, the colour was nothing like the colour that I perceived on the swatches. It was far too dark. It was almost a military grey. It was horrible. Anyhow, so. Karen come down, we had a consulting session and decided in the end to paint it the same colour as everything else. For the simple reason that the colour will come. We'll have flooring down here that have a colour. We stood the, the toilet itself in here, that's a kind of a blue, well it's a blue, it's a box of blue kind of colour. The flooring will be coloured, the formica is a blue that's coming on here, so that will be coloured. We're going to have a hardwood mahogany fiddle trim around there. So there'll be plenty of colour. Um, so in the end we decided just to go with the standard pearl white and uh, I have to say I'm pleased. All done. Um, I've ordered the glue for the, for the Formica. Let's step outside for a moment. The acoustic's a bit better out here, it's a little echoey in there. Um, yeah. Next thing, we're in a, another strange phase that's going on of course. Uh, as I'm sure you're all aware, very, very hard to miss is the, the, this coronavirus thing that's going on, uh, serious stuff. And uh, different countries are reacting differently to it. And, and here uh, in Germany, well, it's actually, the reaction is based on the state, the federal state reaction. Um, the state we're in here, Niedersachsen, Lower Saxony. Um, it's basically shut all schools. It's advised us to, to not travel. Um, and one of the effects has been that the hardware store is shut now, um, which means, of course, the, the, the possibility to nip out and get some little thing that you need for the project is gone now. So you need to be organised, make sure all the materials are here. Um, I dare say the nice people at Amazon are doing an improved trade. So basically things have to be ordered online. As I say, the, the glue for the Formica I've ordered, hasn't arrived yet, I'm waiting on it. I've got several things ordered waiting to come in. And that's where we are. Can't really complain, but, but um, that's where we are. It makes life, it makes the build require a bit more organization, shall we say.
Yeah, then out in the main cabin galley area, we've got, well, I've got the, the gloss on here. The quarter berth is completely glossed out. That's all finished. Um, and here, we're now we're second coated with undercoat all through here. Um, that's where we are there. I'm still, I intend to put some mahogany trim around here, so I should be getting on with that very soon. Trim that, that little cubby hole so that I can get this bulkhead painted. Get some paint on here. Another thing I did this week, also not particularly picturesque, was that battery box. It's very dark in there, but you, you can basically see that the battery is in that location. So this, there's the battery box in there, and I had this battery selector switch that you see there in that bay there earlier, and it was silly because I, to get at it, I always had to lift this board. Which, when you think that soon, when it's finished, there'll be a mattress on that, you have to lift that with the mattress on it and whatever other bags and clothes and clutter are on there to get the battery selector switch. So I moved it out here. Just cut a hole behind there for the wires to come through and located it there. Yeah. I've still got to cut the bolts off, as you can tell, it's a little bit long, but set the switch. And then put this vent in up there just to vent the battery area. Depending on the battery type, it may or may not need a vent, but that's there. Then with all that painting and messing about, at one point I felt the desire to do something a bit different. So I made up this piece of wood, I mean still in the process of varnishing it, made up this piece of wood that the, the clock and barometer will mount on. It's going to come up here, it's going to fit somewhere like that. It's a piece of cherry, and I say the, the clock and barometer and a light fit on there. And the light has the switch that hangs out behind the plate, so I needed to, to put a hole in there for the switch from the light to fit into. But that, that's looking good. Here's another seven coats of varnish that is on its way.
still fitting down here, bro. for the switch. That's what it looks like. Stand up there for a bit. So get some varnish on that, get that fitted up there as soon as possible. Something else that happened this week, and, and I would like to take this opportunity to voice my thanks to somebody. As you're probably aware, or you may well know, um, Doug and Betsy from SV Seeker uh, were selling challenge coins. So 12 of us YouTube boat builders or boat renovators were offering challenge coins and they were being sold through the SV Seeker junk store. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. It was, it was an idea from Doug, Doug and Betsy, um, and they sponsored the whole thing. It was, it was fantastic. They contacted us, well I, I can't speak for the others, but I, I know what happened with me. They contacted me offered to get the coins made and to sell them and the whole thing, excellent. And, and a good share of the profit, and most of the bulk of the profit came to us. So entirely sponsored by Doug and Betsy, which was brilliant. And uh, anyhow, recently they decided, um, I guess they weren't selling many of the coins, they decided to stop selling them, to take them off their shelves, free up some space. Um, and, uh, They've sent the unsold coins to the various builders. Again, I can only speak for myself, but mine arrived. I picked them up from the German customs, unfortunately, from German customs the other day, um, and uh, well, yesterday. And um, yeah, so I will now be sending them through my shop on my website. If anybody wants one, get onto my website, they're there. And I say, I'd really like to say a massive thank you to Doug and Betsy of SV Seeker. What you did to support us guys, to help us, was, was brilliant. Thank you. And of course, I'm in here painting and building out the interior. And when I look around the other boat builders around, quite a few of them are in the same situation, aren't they? There's, there's Reese on Zora, he's fitting out the interior of his boat. Doug's doing interior fitting out. I think one of his, was it his most recent video, or at least very recently, was, was the heads. So in the same sort of situation, SV Mistress Bruce 
Um, also doing his floorboards, wasn't he? Fitting out the interior. So a lot of us are in the, in the same place now, which is kind of wacky, isn't it? The way it goes. Here we are, fitting out our interiors. I just came up with a perfect pun. They're in the same boat. They're in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> That's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching all that. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.